it is such a broad degree and you will find um, things in it that you never knew even could be studied and they end up being your life passion. The Anglo-Saxon Norse and Celtic course, or ASNAC uh, for short, uh, involves study of the languages and literatures and histories of the various peoples of, of Britain, Ireland and Scandinavia uh, in the early Middle Ages. We look at literature, we look at language, we look at historical material evidence, and we piece all of them together to try and reach conclusions about this period. Uh, things like Beowulf, um, the Old Norse sagas, uh, the Mabinogion, uh, the Toyn from Ireland, um, and we combine those things with the with study of, of the languages um, themselves. I chose to do ASNAC at Cambridge because it's one of the only places in the UK where you can study uh, Germanic languages and literature and history and Celtic languages and literature and history. It's the combination of all the different disciplines that makes it a, a really engrossing subject, I think, for students. In ASNAC we use a wide range of teaching methods. There are seminars and lectures, and those are complemented by what are called supervisions. Students every week will, will write an essay, and then they get a chance to talk about that, and what they've learned in detail with, with an expert in, in the field. And I would have mistakes corrected, my ideas developed, and um, I found that really helpful for me. We have the Parker Library at Corpus Christi College, which houses lots of Anglo-Saxon manuscripts that if you do ASNAC, you do get the opportunity to go there and actually touch the manuscripts for yourself and examine them. It has uh, coins, objects, all sorts of things that we can go and look at in the flesh to enrich this period in a way that just brings it to life. Last year we went to the Isle of Man, um, this year we're going to York. The common room, it's a sociable place to work but also means there's always someone around to ask for help or advice while you're working. Because we're a very small department, we have a very strong support structure, which I think is great. You have a director of studies who you can go to about any academic concerns. Students on the Anglo-Saxon Norse and Celtic course develop a very full array of transferable skills. They learn how to compare and sift information of many different kinds from many different sources. Recent graduates have gone on to a really huge variety of, of things. Barristers and solicitors, uh, teachers, librarians, people who work in museums. You name it, they've done it. There was one student a number of years ago who ended up getting a job with the police, with forensic science, on the basis of his expertise in medieval paleography. Something I really love about ASNAC is just how open and friendly the department is and I think that really came across in my interview because it didn't feel like a test at any point certainly. I had two interviewers um, and they just put me so much at ease that it genuinely felt more like a discussion. They were there trying to be friendly so I wouldn't be scared and I would be able to just enjoy talking about medieval studies which is at the end of the day what we're all here for. If you're in any way excited by the Vikings and Old Norse sagas, or if you're thrilled by Celtic mythology and the history of, of early Ireland, if you're excited by uh, Alfred the Great uh, and the origins of the English language, then think about uh, spending some more time with us uh, in the early Middle Ages and learning more about them. <laughs>